You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes, please. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wampa Pool. So this is a very interesting transformation. Wamba call this detonator. Use control stick to move and press B for self-destruct attack. So this is, yeah, the detonator. And while it's more fun to play as than the stony, it's still not great. Especially the fact that its only method of attack is blowing itself up. Oh well. And also, that's kind of why the warp pad is inside Wumba's wigwam because it can kind of be a pain in the butt to get the detonator back out without it. But the detonator's main method of helping out is it can detonate all these TNT barrels we've been seeing around here. So we'll, we'll open this one first. And if we go inside... It's another cave of toxic gas and apparently we're suffocating even though we are a non-sentient detonator. Over here! I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament! Oh, uh, who might you be? I'm Canary Mary! They used to send me down the mines to check for gas! If I died, they know it wasn't safe! <laughs> nice! I can think of more pleasant jobs! They just left me in here! I don't think I'll last much longer! Don't worry! I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open! If I must. <laughs> that is a dark joke. Yeah. Well, we just blow ourselves up. So, we can uh, come in here as Banjo Kazooie and rat a tat wrap this gate open, or we can just blow it up with the detonator. Whoa! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. Canary Mary is without a doubt the weirdest and kind of most unsettling characters in this game like is she supposed to be an actual canary because to my to my mind all i see when i look at her is a random lady dressed up in a weird dress with wings that can fly and has a very ugly face Ugh. also she is quite possibly the most hated character in the entire banjo kazooie franchise well okay no that's not true that dude that goes to log from nuts and bolts <laughs> not even close but out of the real banjo kazooie games she is without a doubt the most hated character and um we'll get into why that is in perhaps just a little bit Simply put, she has made many people curse their copy of their game. <laughs> now that that intrigues you, we're gonna just hop around the mine and try to find all of these uh, things we can detonate. Remember how I said the detonator's actually kind of fun to use? Yeah, I completely, totally 100% lied. It's not that fun to use at all. Anyhow, we're gonna go down this way. Just get kind of near the fuse, and you should hop near it automatically and detonate it automatically. You don't have to press any buttons. Otherwise, you might accidentally end up blowing yourself up. We could go that way with the detonator, but there's not really anywhere we can go down there. Because that is a cave that is just filled with water. What we can do, however, is take a warp pad. We can go to the world entry and exit outside Mumbo's Skull, inside Wumpa's Wigwam, or near the train station with that creepy guy again. Um, I'm gonna go to the world entry and exit. So at the beginning here, you may have noticed this before, there's this nice little switch here. If we press it... Wow, we're actually not heavy enough to press it with the detonator. If you press that switch, it'll make the gate at the end of the cave open up that I said to remember earlier. However, it'll only open for a small amount of time, so you have to hurry over there really fast. Hey, girl. I fixed the handcart! All I need now is a bear and bird to race! Oh, what? Uh, detonators aren't good enough? Detonators are not good enough, as a matter of fact. But if we remember, there's a TNT barrel in the fuel state, uh, storage that we need to get rid of. Oh, 
also want to try something out. I've been told... So the detonator can't swim. It'll it'll float on the surface of water, but it can't actually swim. I've been told there's a way to go underwater and actually start hovering with the detonator. And it involves, like, jumping into the water and being underwater and then blowing yourself up. And I want to try it out, just to see how it works. So if we blow that open, this nice little UFO here in the box can go on forward. But it stops at the end of this tunnel. What's that all about? Get out of the way, shovels. I don't I don't care. This is not shovel night. Bleep! Now that door is not open on the other side! Bleep! Hey, no swearing in this game. Humba magic not work if go through there. Only barren bird can leave. Yeah, that that is another world warp that leads to world free, as a matter of fact. So we can't leave with the Wumba transformation. Oh wait, nope. There, how did I miss that note as well? Okay, well before before I get that note, I'm gonna try something. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, that didn't work. I'm doing it wrong. There is a way to hover with the detonator, but. Maybe I'll save that for a bonus episode or something. There we go. 240. That's probably the last note. Alright, I'm trying to think. There's still the TNT barrel that's in the gloomy cavern. I think there's another one somewhere else that I've forgotten about. Just move on! Yeah, I was on it! Because he hops everywhere he goes, it can be kind of annoying to maneuver the detonator at times to wind up on the warp pads. It can also be a huge pain in the butt to get him to go down there, because he likes hopping out of the tunnel. Anyhow. Alright, we need to go through here, watch out for that cowboy hat, because that means that a cowboy's gonna pop up. And our collect another red Jinjo. We've collected a lot of the same colors of Jinjo. Get, get me out of here. Wow. I forgot how much of a pain in the butt the detonator is to use. Alright. Trying to think. Other TNT barrels. We've destroyed the flooded caves, we've destroyed that, we've destroyed the can uh, canary cage. We destroyed in the fuel depot. I want to say there's one more that I saw that I totally forgot about somewhere. It's not near the train station. Uh, you know what? If I forgot about it, I can always go back and change into the detonator again. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Let's blow this pop stand. Yeah! How dare you? Take that. Anyhow, uh, hmm, which way to go? Oh, this way. Yeah, so if you press this switch, you'll get this nice little cinematic. All the way at the end here, that gate is going to open. But only for 35 seconds. Which we do not have the speed to do that. Anyhow, it's time to explore why Canary Mary is so hated. Hey there, Canary Mary! Why are you still around? Oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On this old handcart? I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? 
Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. Okay, so I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for that grunty timer to run out before I start. In the meantime, if we go up this slope here, there's another boulder. We'll destroy that in the meantime. I have a, I just, if the timer runs out while we're doing the Canary Mary race, I'm not sure if it will, it'll play a cinematic and we won't be able to move. Yeah, so the reason why Canary Mary is so hated is because she makes you do these minigame races, which a lot of people have a very difficult time with. Now, I'm just going to say, personally, these, these Glitter Gulch Mine races with Canary Mary are not hard at all. I am not good at mashing the A button, but even if you're just decent, like, heck, you don't even really have to be decent. Like, she's not hard to beat here. So we're going to jump on the handcart, and I'll, I'll show you. Ready? Free? Two, one, go! You really don't even have to do it super fast. As you can see, I'm, I'm having no trouble beating her. She does have a bit of rubber band AI on her, so maybe the people who are crazy good at mashing have a harder time, because if you get a massive lead, then that means she will speed up a bit. But like, still... This is not a difficult race. Plus, it's got catchy music. It also gives you this nice cinematic view of the mine. I do like to tap faster on the uphill parts, just so Banjo doesn't slow down as much. And you can coast a little bit on the downhill parts, but... I just tap it at a slightly fast rhythm, and it's super easy. And now that we're reaching the end, I'm going to tap it a little bit faster. Easy. And again, I am not good at tapping the A button at all. I lose every Mario Party game that involves mashing the A button. I think we beat you there, Mary. Well... I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Man, it's lagging. Is it a Jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew. I'm not sure we want it in that case. Another Jiggy. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on the card if you think you can beat me again. So you'll get a Jiggy for beating her the first time, and if you beat her the second time, you'll get a different prize. So the second race is a little bit harder than the first one, but it's still really easy, so we're gonna race her just right now. Ready, three, two, one, go! This time we're going to start tapping it a little bit faster. As you can see, yeah, she she means business this time. Also, I think the minecart track is a little bit rougher uh, in reverse. I feel like there are more uphill parts. Or at least the uphill parts are longer. Yeah, or steeper. Doo, 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 doo. But as you can see, I'm not even tapping it that fast, and we have a decent lead on her, so... Seriously, Canary Mary has the weirdest character design out of any character in this. It's kind of creepy, and I don't know what she's supposed to be. If she's supposed to be an actual bird, or if she's just like a woman cosplaying as a bird. I think she's a woman cosplaying as a bird. That makes sense to me. It's also very weird that like the miners are using her for the, <laughs> the toxic gas. And it's like, if I die, that means it's not safe. It's like that. So basically, she's like the toxic gas equivalent of a poison checker. Yeah, like, look at her. Look, we have such a big lead on her, and I was barely even pressing it fast. She's a very easy race. For now. That's two out of two for us, Mary! Ah, uh, perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... No! I don't want to know where it's been! I think I've squ spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye-bye, friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. 
Yeah, later, later, Mary. And that's where the final Cheeto page of the level is. Anyhow, now that the fuel depot has been opened from the TNT barrel, let's just check it out as Banjo and Kazooie for a short while. I love how they have a di completely different music just for this tiny little tunnel here. What attention to detail. Yeah, if we go this way... We are immediately met with a shut door. In a place apparently called Witchy World. Not a lot to see here. Looks like we're in a high-tech futuristic place with a zip line. <laughs> and apparently a sign that says no burgers or fries allowed. <laughs> Yeah, remember that. That'll be the next world, and it's without a doubt my favorite world in the game, and quite possibly my favorite video game world ever. And that's- I'm not just saying that. It's a absolutely phenomenal world, but we're not here to talk about that yet, just yet. In the meantime, now that we've finished those races, I destroyed the boulder up here. Let's see where this leads. This leads to probably my least favorite part of the entire level. It's the Ordnance Storage Entrance, and it's another first-person shooter section. I mentioned in the last, uh, in, when we did the first-person shooter of the Mayahem Temple, that, like, half the first-person shooter sections were actually kind of fun, and half of them were absolutely horrible. This is one of the absolutely horrible parts. So. Let's try going in here. Stop! I can't let you go in there! Why not? I've learned the Breagle Blaster. We got a real problem in there, and shooting's not the answer. Okay, we promise not to shoot. Nope, you're not going in until you can defend yourself without shooting. Violence is not the answer? Clearly this guy has never played a video game before. Like, seriously. Well, there is this jam jar silo here, and it only needs 95 notes, so let's get a new move. The Beak Bayonet. Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press B to give him a poke. That'll be all. Dismissed. So this is another move that we can only use when in the first-person shooter sections. We can shoot eggs in first-person shooter sections, but now that we have the beak bayonet, if we press B, no, I did not want to talk to you again. Let's move away first. If we press B. We'll do this little be beak attack. <laughs> We're literally using Kazooie as a bayonet on like the front of uh, certain guns. It's pretty cool. Um, here we go. You've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Shoot one and the whole mine will explode! You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep, you'll have to be quick, cause when you defuse the first stun, the others will probably start their de detonation timers. Oh boy. Let's go in. This is a very difficult challenge. Welcome to the Ordnance Storage. There are 15 sticks of dynamite in this 3D maze here, and we need to destroy them all. After we destroy the first one with the beak bayonet, all of the uh, other ones will start their detonation countdown, and you have to destroy them all before the timer runs out. The problem is, this is a 3D maze that is very confusing, and there is no map for it. So generally what will happen is you will find 14 of the dynamite sticks, no problem, and the last one will evade you and you will never find it. So, let's start. All right. So we have 200 seconds to defeat them all, which seems like a lot, but it's... it's not. Thankfully you can use strafing to your advantage here. Yeehaw!
The level's just too big. That's the problem. Alright, we got nine left. Oh, hey, there's another one over here. You can use the eggs on the cowboys, but you can't use the eggs on the dynamite, otherwise they will immediately blow up the mine, and then you'll have to start over. So most of them are just kind of lying out for us to find, but the problem is, yeah, we only have two left, and there have been tons of tiny little doorways that I haven't gone to yet. And most of them just hook up to areas I've already been to before. Yeah, so this leads to the bottom red room that we never went through. Okay. And sure enough, we got like 80 seconds left and one dynamite stick somewhere. I have no idea where it is. The only clue you get as to where it might be is its bouncing sound effect. So I'm going to listen carefully to see if I can hear any distant yeah. bouncing. Nope, I've been that way. I'm just gonna leave because I was gonna lose anyways. But yeah, you can see, there's that one stupid stick of dynamite that you just can't find. <sighs> yeah, this, this is just such a nasty challenge. Yeah. I like the first person shooter levels in Fury, but most of some of them are just like this. Giant mazes where you have to Oh, I bet this is where the one that I didn't find the last time was. In that tiny little hallway. I bet you that's where it was. four left. I'll take it. Okay. I've been everywhere in that blue room. Alright, I know where one of them is. Okay, I heard it above me. Okay, it's on the second floor over this area. Just have to find a way to the second floor. Here we go. Thank you, power- <laughs> Thank you, power of the strafe. 
Strafing definitely makes it faster, okay. I heard bouncing somewhere. Come on, I'm so close. I heard bouncing at the second floor here. Here we go! There it is! Die! Much obliged to you, partners! How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? <laughs> well, all I got this funny shaped nugget. I reckon you just can have that. Phew, man. That is a really difficult challenge. Oh, and now the fun part. Now we have to find the exit, which is way harder to do than you might think. Because, <laughs> again, there is no map. Although I think the exit's over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thankfully it wasn't too far away from us. Yeah, I think I think the one in the narrow tunnel that I went to was the one I missed on the first try. But we beat it second try, that's not bad. That is seriously one of the toughest jiggies in the game. All right, man, we have not gotten that many jiggies. We've only gotten three jiggies on this level. <laughs> Granted, there are like one or two that we just flat out can't get right now. 